All right, guys, what's up? I'm gonna be showing y'all how to do a 16 inch heavy wall, schedule 80, I believe, uh, from start to finish. I'm gonna give y'all somewhat of the parameters I'm using and some of the techniques that'll help you uh, get a solid weld in. There's a gap I'm running. I usually use a 332. Make sure there's a good transition in there. We're gonna be going into some penetrated tacks. We're gonna be starting from the bottom all the way up, half up, and then halfway the other way. This one's not gonna be able to be flipped as often because it's a big piece. So we'll just have to monitor the levels. You're gonna wanna preheat, get all the moisture out of the well. It's pretty cold out. I think it's about 30 degrees outside. So you're definitely gonna have to preheat. Go all the way around the pipe until get as most moisture out as possible. All right guys, for the root, we're gonna wanna run about like 120, cause it's already kinda hot, cause of all that preheat. And I'm gonna be using a 332 wire. Another thing you're gonna need is a XL number 10. That way your tungsten could go in there being covered with the gas pretty well. Cause if you use a regular cup, you're gonna have to long arc that tungsten and that could be bad uh, for the gas coverage. So this will help out. You're gonna use this cup at least up until the hot pass. All right, guys, this is how the route's going so far. I have little bits of cold wire, but that'll come out in the hot pass. And as you can see, fully penetrated. I'm gonna try to get an art shot for y'all of how I'm rooting it. All right, guys, this is what I was talking about. It should be blue and blue. That way, once you pop right onto it, it'll just melt and fuse uh, correctly. All right, guys, you're going to want to heat up the tack about maybe like a half an inch down. Uh, you can see me kind of struggling to get into position to feed the 332 wire in there. But, um, you know, once I get in there pretty comfortably, I keep the wire uh, behind the bevels. And, uh, yeah, I just keep feeding, keep feeding the puddle. Don't try not to lose the tension on the puddle. But if you happen to lose the tension, it's all right. Uh, just keep keep that arc real tight. And uh, when you come in to tie in, you're going to want to keyhole dip it. That way you, you make sure that the tie-in fuses uh, properly. Uh, I'm showing you on the back side right now, the little keyhole method. It's, it's uh, seem, It seems to work pretty well for me. That's the way I always do my tie-ins. But... Um, if you if you know how to tie in differently then go ahead and do your method as well but here we go you just want to pop off to the to the left of the bevel once it's fully tied in you want to make sure that that tying is pretty hot so it doesn't leave like a bump on there all right guys there y'all go that's the root pass all the way around they get that small cold wire at the bottom. You could hardly tell, but it'll come out with the hot pass right now. Um, right now with the hot pass, we're gonna be running about 160. All right, so before we hot pass, we're gonna grind down all this trash from the root pass. Um, every time you wanna pop off, you always pop off to the bevel also. Keep that in mind, don't, don't let it sink into your root. All right, guys, this is what I'm talking about. Grinding your root pass down, making sure there's no trash in there. You're going to want to get a wire wheel because sometimes you'll miss a spot. And uh, most likely this will burn out, but why take the risk? We're just going to go ahead and grind it off, make it clean like the rest. Just inspect the whole root, make sh making sure you didn't leave no little bits of trash in there. And uh, I'll get this going. I'll show you all once I have the... I'll show you once I have the root pass in. I mean the hot pass in. All right, guys, this hot pass, it's not its not a walking mode. It's not a like you're walking the cup. You don't do that. It's just, it's more of just like wiggling the cup. You could just break your wrist back and forth and the cup moves itself up. Get the tungsten to where you're not gonna touch the tungsten in your puddle, just a little bit higher and um, Keep the tungsten pretty sharp. Uh, if you if you stick your tungsten in the pipe for any reason, stop and grind it out. If you 
get a tungsten inclusion. So just real nice and smooth, try to go fast, a wiggle. All right, fellas, there's the hot pass, nice and tight. As you can tell by the weave, something real fast. Help push out the root pretty good. Um, now we're going to be turning the machine up to 200 amps, throwing the first fill, also with that XL10 cup. Um, I'll show you how it looks right now after I do that. All right, guys, once you throw that pass at 200 with the 1 8 rod, you're able to take off the XL cup use a regular 10 or whatever your preference is and just start slanging and banging with the free hand um, I like to throw one more one more big wide pass and then two stringer uh, free hand passes when you want you want your fills maybe since it's in position at 220 if you're on a rollout by chance you can start using 532 at 300 amps uh, just as long as your rig can hold that but since we're in position and I don't want to bend the flange, I'm going to just be going at 220 or actually 230. Whatever y'all guys feel comfortable with, as long as it's not too cold, that way you can fill up the pipe a lot faster. All right, guys, here we are with the fills. I'm not sure if y'all can kind of tell how much you have to add a lot of bevel that we have to fill in so basically you just want to go real real uh i like to do it in, in twos and then to start throwing threes just don't leave any valleys and if you do leave a valley make sure you burn hot and then uh just fill her up man so whatever you can fill if you can't feel that much metal uh fill a little less it'll take a little bit more passes but if you can fill it more then fill it more but this is the way i do it all the way up. Hey guys, this is all the fill I was able to get today. Still gotta fill from this side out, and then I'll uh, I'll show you once it's almost flushed, and then I'm gonna start walking it to smoothing everything out. All right, guys, here's the finished product. Not the best cap but I just did a four beat cap with a mix of one eighth and 332 just to try to get the high low out. Um, I ran about 230 amps for all of them. Uh, yeah, guys, it'll shoot, it'll be all right. And then you just wanna make sure you stagger your start and stops. Don't keep them all in a line. Just kind of space them out or whatever. And then remember to grind them down. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, uh, what I could have done better. And uh, yeah, guys, peace.